so with by the time now you're exiting mm. you've seen experienced yeah. been castigated um, yeah. <laughs> what is what are the rumblings in your heart in your spirit at the time so. and, and what are your first <laughs> steps towards that then so I was still there mm -hmm. until now this event mm -hmm. of the accident. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, okay, that was a sign I should have quit then. Okay. Now this is a sign that I should quit yeah. this, this pointless. So the accident <laughs> happens and then... And um, I'm being thrown under the bus for yeah. things I didn't do. Yeah. So, and um, some other things that happened, I wanted to do a master's. Mm. Right. Um, I wanted to do a master's in public health. So I said things add up, mm. things add up. Mm. So I, I wanted to do a master's in public health. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was in this place, as mm -hmm. I said, phone call, you sit at the post office mm -hmm. and you have to wait for somebody to call you back, mm -hmm. you write letters and post them. Mm -hmm. That was this, the system. Mm -hmm. So I had traveled to Kampala and mm -hmm. applied for a master's in public health mm -hmm. at Makerere. Mm -hmm. Left all my documents there, mm -hmm. you know, photocopied, I don't know how many copies they were, all mm -hmm. this paid mm -hmm. and then returned. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, I'm waiting to be called for the masters, mm. and I'm not being called. Mm. I had made the qualifications because you had to be, you had to have worked for two years, right, for you to qualify for the masters. And you had done more. I had done two years. Mm. I, I had done more than two years. Mm. So I'm there waiting to be called for the masters, and the, and the call is not coming. Mm. Then I I travel to Kampala, and I find people who I apply together with. They already they already started the school, and they're like, hey, how come you didn't come for the masters? What happened? Mm. I was like, you mean, yeah, they already finished admissions. Mm. So I go to the School of Public Health. Mm. I said, I applied for a master's. Mm. I wasn't selected. I want to know why. Mm. Oh, go back, go to this office, go to that office, go here, go there. Mm. Finally, I get somebody who retrieves my file mm. and they said your application was incomplete. Mm. What was missing? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the, the, I don't know, letters of recommendation. I don't know what. I said, there's no way my application would be incomplete mm. because I brought everything. Mm. everything. I spent like a week in Kampala mm. putting that application together. Mm. So they say, oh, you know, your application was complete, so we couldn't process it. Mm. You have a strong, you, you qualify this, this and that, but we didn't have your letter of recommendation. I don't, I don't remember which other document we didn't have. Mm. So we couldn't process an incomplete mm. application. Mm. Like, okay, I went to the School of Graduate Studies mm -hmm. where I deposited my application. Mm. I said, I've been to the School of Public Health and they told me that my application was not complete. I know I submitted the complete application, so I want to know what happened. Mm. So this woman also goes round and round and round. Then finally, she also goes and retrieves the documents that they stayed with. Mm. They said, ah, you made a mistake. <laughs> that all your things were stapled together. Mm. So, like the entire bunch was that everything in... that was stapled together mm. was taken as one thing. Oh, okay. Instead of Separate. five things. Yeah. yeah. And I, I said, you staple things which are many, you don't staple one thing. So how would you not know that stapled things? Mm. So my all my reference letters were mm. stapled together apparently. Mm. And mm. so they only submitted something mm. and everything else stayed in an envelope. I was furious, I was furious. I was like, if I had lived like in a place where I could have where I could call, where I could like come and check on my application, this wouldn't have happened. Mm. Because maybe I'd have, I would have gone to the School of Public Health, they would have told me my application was not complete, mm. I would have gone to graduate studies, mm. I would have found out that my people didn't realize that stapled things mean many, not one, mm. and then <laughs> I would be in a master's. Mm. Actually, when I got back home, mm. and when I got back to the hospital, mm. that day I, I resigned. Oh. And I had leave, I gave them two weeks. Mm. I said, two weeks from now, mm. I'm out of here. I mm. didn't. I didn't even have a job. I didn't have. I mm. said I am done. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. but as I've said, things mm. things add up. Yeah. I was yeah. really disgusted by the the incident yeah. with the yeah. with the accident. Now mm. this was like, what is this? Mm. How can I miss? Mm. How can an I miss an opportunity to do a master's? Mm. Because I'm in such a god forsaken place mm. Mm. <laughs> that mm. I cannot follow up. Yeah. On my application, yeah. I got back, got out of the car, told mm. my colleague, mm. medical supervisor, and said, it. "I am. This mm. is it. I'm done. Mm. I'm resigning." Mm. So it's like, what? Mm. It was December. Mm. What was in? Mm. I'm out of here. Mm. I don't care. I'm tired. Mm. So he said, okay, so what are you going to do next? I said, I'll see. I didn't have a job. Mm. I just quit. Mm. I think it took me like a month and I was out of there. Mm. Yeah. So I, I went, I did some, yeah, they call it locum mm -hmm. in Kampala. And then somehow mm. 
now the management the board of the hospital mm. they they got to know that i had left mm -hmm. so they they contacted me said what's going on mm. and then somehow mm. i was offered an opportunity to apply for a position as a lecturer oh. assistant lecturer mm -hmm. at now another medical school which is in western uganda it's called mbarara Okay. Mbara University of Science and Technology. Mbara is close. It's not as remote as. No, no. This mm. was like, uh, yeah, this is a big town. I mm. think maybe the second or third biggest town mm. in Uganda. Mm.